The following announcement has been paid for by Lane Vision. Hey, yo, 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 yo. Today we're going to talk about functions. So let's take a look at what you guys just did in that Learn to Code 1 playground. You had a bunch of moves that you had to make. Now, typing it out can be a little tedious, uh, especially when you add more code. So think about this and look at this. You have move forward, move forward, move forward, turn left. You have a different code in the middle, and then you have the same thing being repeated. Now, the idea for a function is so that you don't have to type out stuff that repeats over and over and over again. So let's take a look at what that means. The first thing you kind of want to do is identify a block of code that is the repeating code, which will be these moves and turn left. Once you do, you're going to create a function. So how we create a function and declare a function is FUNC, and that is what we are going to start our code with. Then we are going to give it a name. You want to name the function based on what is inside of it. Also, please notice the parentheses at the end. They must always be there every time you create a function. Additionally, each function requires an opening bracket and a closing bracket with the code that you are using inside the brackets. So now we will look back at our original problem and we will now replace the move forwards and turn lefts with the function we created. When we call a function, we just take the name and the parentheses every time we want to use it. Now, looking at the problem, we have used our function and now created much less work for us to do because we have put the repeating code inside the function. I'm dropping this quick video um, for this very particular section um, just to kind of go over a few things. Now, obviously, I'm looking at this from a computer standpoint. If you have a Mac computer, you can download Xcode for free from the App Store. Um, you know, if you can do it on there, that's fine, but most of you will be using your iPad. So I'm going to go over this real quick. Now, when you're kind of going through functions, okay, when we're looking at print commands like this, obviously on your iPad, you have to click run my code. I'm clicking it down here, automatically run, so it's always running. You have to click the oh, run my code button on every page to get the code to work. You are looking at print commands on the pop-ups, okay? So we see them here or they're gonna show up here first, and then you can add viewer to add them here, okay? So that's how that's gonna work. Um, now, as far as looking at functions, okay, you're looking at, okay, so why would we repeat certain things, like row, row, row your boat gently down the stream, row, row, row gently down the stream, row, row, row your boat gently down the stream, okay? As far as functions go, this typing this first part three times is inefficient. So creating a function uh, would help you uh, make it go faster. So notice function, func, row the boat. And when you run, and I'm going to move this to the side, okay? When you run your function, even you can press play, notice that nothing works, okay? When you just have the function, you don't see anything here. Now, when you're looking on your iPad, it's going to work the same way. Nothing's going to run. So when we get rid of the comment here, we just put row the boat. Notice that row the boat, and we don't want you guys to see this because you're not gonna have that part down there, but you will have the part to the side. So notice when we finally run row your boat, then these pop-ups start occurring, okay? So you actually have to say row the boat in another part of your code after you write function. Function is a separate thing, okay? So you need to make sure that you're running it in different sections. Now, as you go through here, just practice. Don't go nuts, but make sure you understand what a function is, okay? Now, as far as the exercise that you need to turn in, it'll be under meme exercise, and it'll be functional meme. And you need to create a song with a repeated chorus, a meme that repeats a word or a phrase, or a song that repeats a line over and over. So just find something, nursery rhyme, something that you know from a school fight song, whatever you really want to make. And just remember, funk, okay, give it a name, okay, and then add the parentheses and then everything inside print, and then you're going to put your lyrics here, okay? Make sure you put it as a string, all right? So you want to make a couple of these to get practice, and that's it. That's all you guys got to do, um, so hopefully this helps you. Okay, if not, 
I will be online. Ask me questions, send me screenshots. You guys are doing awesome. Don't fret, don't worry. Everybody have a good day.